What's up guys, PG here, hope you're having a wonderful day. Today we're gonna to take a look at the best penny stocks to buy next week. Those ones will, were breaking out on Friday and maybe they will continue to break out next week. So before we talk about that, be sure to subscribe, turn on the post notifications so you don't miss any videos and let's jump right into it. Quickly in the description, there's a link to Webull. You can get two free stocks if you deposit $100. Those two free stocks can give a value of more than $1,850 so you can make some great gains. In the description, there's also a link to my Patreon. You can get access to my four portfolios so you can see in real time what I buy and sell. And you can get also access to the Discord, where we talk all day long about the best stocks to buy. We're trying to find stocks that will double, triple the next big winners, and we've already found some. So if you want to join, click the link in the description. Before we take a look at the next best penny stocks, let's take a look at the ones we talked about a couple days ago, how those ones are doing. If you take a look at the first one, SNP, this one is down 6.30%. This one is currently at 0.0089%, $89, sorry. This one is down 33%, so has been on the downtrend. This one is now on the downtrend. If you look one month ago, this one is down 55%. So this one, is on the downtrend S&P. My rule is to sell and cut my losses if the, stock, if the penny stock is down 10 to 15 percent and t take also my profit if, if this one is up 50, 40 to, 40, 40 to 50 percent. So here this one, my rule, I would cut my losses short if I see 33 percent in five days. The second one on the list is OZSC. This one is also down 0.64 percent but we can see that in the after hours it's up 0.80 percent so that's great to see. Five days ago, the stock is down 7%, one month down 50, same thing as with S&P, this one is also on a downtrend, and six months ago, this one is up 1,150%, so we see that we had a big spike and then a big sell-off. Now this one is once again on the downtrend, so maybe you can catch this one on the breakout and have this one bounce back up, but this one right now is on the downtrend, so be very careful. And if you take a look at the stock that's on the uptrend that we talked about a couple days ago, AABB, this one keeps rising. This one is up 18.75%. This one had, uh, had, has had a great week, 130%. You can see the difference here with this one and with, uh, with S&P and OZSC. This one is on the uptrend. This one is up 130%, so more than doubled in one week. Some great gains. We talked about it a couple days ago, even maybe weeks ago, and I really like this one, some beautiful growth. Now, when you see a 130% growth, this one has a big chance of pulling back, having a sell-off, and return the situation, go on the downtrend. So be also very careful. And the fourth one we also like to talk about, 88 Energy, ticker symbol E, 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 and F. This one had a beautiful day yesterday, up 5%. Five days ago, this one was down 20, so on the downtrend, 26. One month ago, this one is up 61, but we can see that yesterday it had a little, little spike, 5%. So this one, in my opinion, will have maybe some great gains next week. They had some great news last week, so maybe next week we'll see some, some big gains and some big spikes in that one. Now let's take a look at the best penny stocks, the top penny stocks to buy for next week. Stocks that were breaking out on Friday and that maybe we can catch on Monday and make some great gains and write, continue to write them on Monday. So let's take a look at that to find the ones that will break out or if you just want to find stocks, the best penny stocks that will break out, you go on finviz.com, then you're gonna go to screener. When we're on screener, we're gonna go to unusual volume, that you go to signal, then we're gonna click on unusual volume. When we're on unusual volume, here, unusual volume, then we're gonna go to all, on all, we wanna have the, 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 the big short, we're gonna go to market cap, we're gonna start to look at nano caps, those ones are under 50 million. So here we have nano caps, those are some penny stocks. Then we're gonna go to performance, we're gonna take a look at today up, we're looking at stocks that are today up, today up, nice. So those ones were ended up today, yesterday, sorry, on Friday. Two day moving average, we're gonna go to uh, 200 day above the 200 day moving average. Nice, we're gonna do the same thing with, with the 50 day simple moving average. We're gonna go above 50 day simple moving average, price above. Nice, then we're gonna go to average volume. We're gonna take a look at over 100K, over 100K here, nice. We're gonna go to, to industry, we're gonna take a look at stocks only, that's what we're looking for. Then we're gonna take a look, do we have everything here? Everything is looking beautiful, price, okay, today up. And we can see that we have three stocks, we have SENS, we have SPCB, and we have YVR. YVR has been a couple days now on the, on the, on the list here in the Finvis. Let's take a look at the chart at the technical first to see the RSI. We have RSI one above 70. I like to take a look at RSI above 30 and below 70. Here we have 67, 71, 61. I really like YVR. If you take a look at the charts to see if they're on the uptrend, up trend, downtrend, we can see the first one looking great, second one looking great. The charts are all looking good here. So let's take a look deeper at those three ones on the trading app to see if you can see maybe their financials, maybe the last couple gains and see if there's a big chance that this one will go up on Monday. If you take a look at the first one, SENS, this one is up 33% yesterday. So I had a beautiful day yesterday. One week ago, this one is up 33%. So this one was staying around 170 and ju then jumped all the way to 230. One month ago, this one 
was on the downtrend 190 and now it looks like it's breaking out so that's what we like to see and it's almost reached the biggest high no it's it went even bigger than the previous highs so that's nice to see this one was went to 2929 228 and now this one is at 229 so maybe there's a chance that this one has reached once again the high and will go down like we saw the first one it went all the way down to 150 so this one maybe can go on monday back to 150 so be very careful or this one we go reach a new high and go to three to four dollars a share we'll have to take a closer look on monday to see how it opens at the opening market so snes if you take a look at the second one spcb supercom this one is at 2.2 dollars a share up 50 percent if you take a look at one month same scenario as with one week sorry same scenario it was around one then went all the way to 240 ended at 220 the chart is looking the same as with the first one one month ago also same short and we had a big spike around 210 yeah same thing that with the other one it went down now up so maybe this one will also go back again to the to the 130 zone 110 zone so be very careful also see just how it opens on monday if on monday we can see that it opens really good and that it's going up maybe there's a chance here and the third one was yvr liquid media that's one of, one of my favorites from the list liquid media up 50 percent in one week we had a big spike down big spike down now it's consolidating around 320 one day up 13 percent beautiful short it was at one dollar share then it went up to 395 down now it's going up again so this one maybe has some great potential to to go even higher to four to five dollars so this one is one I'm going to keep my at attention on, on YVR Liquid Media. I'm going to keep this one in, on my watch list. The two other ones, maybe take a look on Monday. But this one, I'm going to keep this one close on my watch list and see how it opens on Monday. Liquid Media. You can see on Finviz, if you want to find stocks that are breaking out and that will maybe continue to break out, you can go on Finviz, do the same thing that we did with the charts, and you take a, you will have access to all the stocks that are breaking out on that day. So you can maybe find the big winners. Those big winners, we found some big winners a couple weeks ago, a couple days ago. We found WKEY, we found SCCNC, so big winners and stocks that, that are breaking out and will double or triple soon. So big winners. And if you look at our portfolio, we are down 3.78%. 3D Systems up down 10%. Earnet up 8 Elite Sports up 20 Great growth. Bli here, Blockly Lights, we're down 8%. Bionano down 27 Bilderberg in the work, in the red. Butterfly Networks up. CXTC down, CCIV down, CM license is down, CCNC up 20%, great growth, Colony Capital down a little bit, Crex down, this DSS up 20%, DraftKings up, EXPC down, Fate down, Global Store down, HMC, HEPA, HP, WIFE, all in the red, MD, MDGS in the red, Lithium Americas, Molson Course, NEO Open Door in the green, Palantir, PayPal, Pen in the red, Riot, Roblox in the green, Roku in the red, Sensonics in the red, Skills in the green, Snowflake, Spotify Square in the red, Teladoc in the red. Already got a, a Teladoc. I, 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 I didn't even know that I invested in Teladoc, but I invested a little bit. The, 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 the little I had left, I invested in Teladoc. So when my funds will arrive on Monday, I'll go more in Teladoc. But I, did, I didn't remember that I got Teladoc here. SNGL in the green, Tesla in the green, Unity red, Workhorse green, Zomedica in the red. So in total, we're down 5%, I think, yeah, 3.78, not the worst, but still in, in the red. So let's let's have some, some green days coming and some green days on, on next week. So we'll have some great big gains. If you want to know all the stocks that I plan on buying and selling in real time, you can click the link in the description. There's a link to my Patreon. On the Patreon, we talk about all the best stocks to buy. There's a Discord, we talk about all the best stocks to buy. And then you can have access to my four portfolios where I, you can see in real time what I buy and sell. And you can also, in the description, see the link to Webull. You can get two free stocks if you deposit $100. Those two free stocks can have a value of more than $1,850, so some great gains. Remember that everything I said in this video is for entertainment purposes only. If you enjoy, you can leave a like, you can subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.